Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shanique and this is The Viva La Spice. And as you can probably tell from my wig cap and from the title, this is going to be a wig review video, but it's also going to be somewhat of an experiment, meaning that this may or may not be a fail. I was on wigtypes.com browsing the new wigs as I often do, and I saw this wig. I I'm not sure if it's by Outre, but it's called the Melinda wig. And it was like this wavy wig with wavy bangs. And it was just like giving me sizzle vibe, like late 80s, early 90s vibes. And I was just loving it. But I said, let me look in my wig stash and see if there's anything in there kind of similar. Or let me see what I can do with what I already have. So I saw that I have the Outre quick weave. Hawaiian half wig. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this wig. It's super popular. There's also a full version, like a lace front version. Yeah, to see if I can just cut some bangs in the front and um, call it a day. So that's what we're gonna do today. If this video is a fail, I'm still gonna post it because I mean, hey, we're just having fun here, right? It's Saturday afternoon and I wanna see if I'm capable of turning this into what I envision. This is what it looks like on the model, so. This is the wave pattern. Ooh, she got body. All right, so this is her in all her glory. And the goal is to turn this wig into a full wig by cutting bangs into it, so. Mm. All right, so this is what's looking like straight on. Um, these are more like wand curls, but hopefully running my fingers through it will give it more of that wavy texture. Oh, but see how bouncy it is? It's bouncy. Okay. Oh, this cap is tight. I didn't adjust it though, so it might be on the tightest settings, but oh, it's tight. It's tight, honey. Okay. Now, I... Oh, okay, let me see. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared, because I am not the best at cutting hair, and these are regular scissors. These are not hair scissors, but I'm scared. Okay, let me see. Let me fold down this part the way I want it. But see, I don't want the tracks to be showing like that, you know? Okay, first, I'm gonna finger comb it. pattern is lovely though like the hair itself the curls and the waves whatever really nice so as you can see compare this side to this side that I'm kind of you know loosening up a little bit Ooh, she ready All right, now that I got her fluffed out a little bit, look at this. I'm so bouncy. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I don't even know. Okay, this is where I want the bangs to fall, like right here. And I'm just gonna do it, cause there ain't nothing to it. But to do it, you feel me? I just don't even, okay, whatever. I don't even know how to cut no bangs. And the fact that it's curly, it's like I might cut it shorter than whatever. I'm just going. Ah. Okay. There's one. Oh, okay. 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 I don't even know how I just did that, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm scared. I'm just going. Always better to cut it longer. Because you can always cut it some more obviously if you cut it too short the first time then that's it I'm cutting it at an angle okay okay we may be getting somewhere with this maybe um, I feel like I look like Rick James right now though that's okay it's a process 
It is surely. Okay, I don't want that down. drink some coffee for just okay, this is how much I've cut so far <laughs> yeah. mm, let's see here I feel like I look like a cocker spaniel okay I think the bangs need to be a little bit thicker because you can still see like that this line of demarcation all right you guys so I just had to go in the bathroom and actually look in the mirror now this is the finished product and okay let me just tell y'all what I did so the pieces of hair that I cut like this I had a bunch of these little spirals left over after I cut my hair or after I cut my hair after I cut the the wig so I liked how it was looking but I didn't like how the bangs weren't as full and I could see the line of demarcation from the um the wig because obviously it's a half wig and there's no lace and there's no real hairline I didn't like that so what I did and this is just makeshift right now for the video but I tucked in these little pieces of hair around the perimeter of the hairline to cover that up and to make the bang a little bit more fuller now I might go in and glue these down or just use bobby pins to pin them I probably will just use bobby pins to pin the hair in but I didn't do that for time purposes obviously because I just wanted to come back and show y'all that that's what I did I might actually brush it with a paddle brush to make it really like and give that authentic 90s look I don't know but for now I'm gonna keep it as is what do you guys think Ooh. I'm feeling it I am definitely feeling it show y'all a little closer see so that was the line of demarcation but putting those pieces of hair there just kind of disguised it a little bit better I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a 360 this is it from the front Ooh -wee. yes honey from the side From the bike. From the bike. And the other side. Ooh, thumbnail. No. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed this little experiment. I don't think it was a fail. I think it was a success. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. Check the info box down below if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, check out the link for my Mercari if you want to shop with me. And yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Ooh, little bang. Little bang. Oh.